Hey folks, it is Friday, December 17th. The time right now is 12 p.m. And the temperature is around five degrees Celsius. And this is the Norman Jewison Park. And it is the middle of a series of three connected parks that run, I think between Charles Street to the north there, and to the south to Dundonald Street. And this street here is Gloucester. There's a look at Bumpkin's Restaurant. And for this one, I think I'll head south down to Wellesley. Then I'll take Young through College Park down to Gerard Street and over to University. And then I'll check out the little Tokyo area. It's been a while since I've walked through there. And that's a very old school restaurant that's been here for quite a while. And I think these beams here are a new addition to this park. They look pretty cool. And that is Young Street just off to the west. And here is Dundonald Street. And there's an entrance to Wellesley Station that opened up not too long ago. And I think I can squeeze down the side of this building here down to Wellesley. And for whatever reason, these doors are closed off. So the walk I posted this morning was about an hour and a half in length. I did a 10K steps walk. So this one should be about a third of that. There's a look into the bus bay at Wellesley Station. And this here is Wellesley Street East. And I'll be coming back downtown this evening to do a live stream with Ken from the Ken Continuum channel. So that'll be fun. I think I'm meeting him at Dundas Square at 5. So by the time you see this, that live stream will have already taken place. And we're at Young and Wellesley. And we'll take a look north up Young. Wow. And I'll 
probably record another video after the live stream I do with Ken. I'm a bit behind on content. That's one of the reasons why I came out early today. And as luck would have it, as soon as I stepped out the door and, well, I guess when I got to the subway station, I got a notice that FedEx had delivered a package. So hopefully that's waiting for me when I get back. There's the fry. And this here should be Maitland Street. And this section of sidewalk has recently opened, or rather reopened. Next up is Alexander Street, and then after that will be Wood Street. And then we'll be at College. And you can hear a subway train rolling through underneath. The sun is directly in front, casting a nice glare on the lens. It's kind of an uneventful December day. There's not a whole lot going on today. There wasn't much in the news. There's really no events going on to go record, although yesterday in and out Burger did a pop-up shop at the Wheat Chief Tavern. I think that was between noon and 3 p.m. That's down on Bathurst. And the good news with that is, I think they're announcing a permanent in and out location to come pretty soon. So they're hopping on the burger bandwagon. There's where our Starbucks used to be. We do have five guys here. Carl's Jr. tried to establish a presence in Toronto, but that was short-lived. Of course, a Tokyo smoke is going into where the Starbucks used to be. And this is now west on College Street. And that is College Park just across the street. There's Franz. So when I get to Bay, I'm just going to head south through College Park and I'll take that down to Girard. I wonder what that news truck is here for. Toronto Police Headquarters is just on the right. Okay. 
I'm not sure if they've reopened yet. But the police stations were the last holdouts to be open to the general public. Which is kind of counterintuitive. There's the police museum and discovery center. Can't say I've ever been there. Bay Street. So the next major street to the south of here is Gerard. Let's take a quick swing through College Park. The article that recently appeared in the Toronto Star, this is where I came to do the photo shoot. We're here for over an hour, taking countless photos, all just for one of the first ones we took to be used in the article. Had I have known, I could have saved us some time. But I guess that's kind of the idea similar to how people work their dating profiles, right? You take 100 pictures, and then you pick the best one. Not necessarily the most accurate or reflective of real life, but such is the game we play. There was an old Eaton's department store in College Park over there. There's a couple of departments or supermarkets now, Farm Boy, which recently opened, and Metro along with the large winners. And an empty ice rink. Where are the people? There's a couple over there. That is Young Street. Just off to the east. Here come some skaters. They've got the place all to themselves. She's keeping warm. All right, now I'll head back over to Bay and then down to Gerard. I mentioned it during my rather lengthy premiere this morning. But once December is over, I'll get back to doing less downtown-centric videos. It's 
So you can look forward to more content from Etobicoke and Scarborough and the other former boroughs. And here we go, Gerard Street West. I've noticed a lot of people wrapping the batteries on their e-bikes with plastic. I guess that's to keep the moisture at bay. <laughs> There's a local institution at Timmy's. Bear Sushi, it's an interesting name. And Jimmy's Coffee always seems to be in these nice older buildings. This is the old Benjamin Johnson house, named after the first owner and builder of the property. And we're in the Discovery District. There's four major hospitals nearby. There's the Princess Margaret Cancer Research Tower. I think this is Toronto General just in front of me. Sick Kids and Mount Sinai are also here. And straight ahead is University Avenue, so I'll turn left, head down to Dundas, walk through Little Tokyo. That's not its official name. And I guess I'll finish up in the square. There's Toronto General. And on the left is actually Sick Kids. All these hospitals have rather sprawling campuses in this area. Toronto General Hospital, ranked number four in the world and best in Canada. It's one of those things where there's probably a million different lists and they all have very different results, kind of like the top airports lists. And we keep hearing news that the TTC is the best transit network in North America. And I wouldn't really deny that, I just don't think that's a very high bar to meet. And there's a look north to Queen's Park.
and a few weeks back I did a walk that headed north up University Avenue. Although I think it's a better experience to walk south. For part of it anyways, you'll have the CN Tower looming in the back. And you get to take in more of the Canada Life Building. I said there was no news, but we did get some good news. City Council has recently voted to make the bike lanes on Bloor Street permanent. I do think they could do a better job of building them out and making them protected. And the active TO program is here to stay. This is Elm Street, Toronto's Discovery District. And I'm a block and a half away from Dundas. Here's a building I think at the t at one time was the home of McLean's. It's a Canadian magazine. And now it's being renovated into the residences at 481. And much like the building across the street, which had a height extension added, they're doing the same, although it looks like they're completely gutting this one and just keeping the facade. And here is St. Patrick Station. I'll just cross over to the south side. This is a rather busy intersection. So once upon a time, this area was part of the original Chinatown in Toronto. A lot of the land was expropriated. as they were developing the new city hall. Oops, I got kind of squeezed to the left there. That's the problem when you walk faster than most other people. And the main Chinatown kind of relocated in what was a Jewish area at the time to the west of here at Dundas and Spadina. And soon after that, East Chinatown sprouted and that's at Girard and Broadview. And that's a very underrated neighborhood. And in recent years, this area has been dubbed Little Tokyo. Certainly got a very strong Asian 
presence, at least in terms of the eateries. I've been meaning to go to this place. Gayu Guya. I don't know how to say that. But it looks absolutely delicious. bounce to the other side of the street since we've got the light. And there is another location of Gayubi. I haven't been to this one. I've been to the one on Blur Street a number of times. It's an all-you-can-eat Japanese barbecue. I highly recommend it. Providing you can get a table. And this place is quite good, the kimchi house. It's another former Starbucks that is now a weed dispensary. There's an izakaya just up here on the left that I'm quite fond of. Don Don izakaya. There it is. It's up on the second floor. Don Don Izakaya. There's an emergency vehicle racing through here. And it turned north on bay. It is moving pretty good. Soul cannabis. There's a Yudon restaurant. And this place across the street, Daegu Rice Noodle, is quite excellent. I used to go there for lunch when I worked in the financial district. And that's just to the south of here. City Hall is just to the south of here. I guarantee that ice rink will be a lot busier than the one we went by at College Park. And there's the Canadian Tire. Next to a Best Buy, those are part of the newer extension to the Eaton Center. And on the left is a shopping complex and office tower called the Atrium. 
that's where you'll find the headquarters of the Ontario Lame or the Ontario Lottery and Gaming Commission. So if you win the big one, or maybe not the headquarters, but it's where the prize center is. So you can make an appointment and go cash in your check in person, or rather, your winning ticket. There's Muji, a large and very expensive Japanese retailer. Well, expensive for what you get. And here we are at Dundas Square. Geez, I haven't been here before. But I guess they're just taking a pass on Christmas decorations here this year. And this intersection is surprisingly quiet. There's usually buskers and preachers on this corner. I'm sure they'll be out in full force tonight, given that it's a Friday. And even if it weren't a Friday, they'd still probably be out. I'm gonna slip on my mask. As I'm gonna head into the subway. But rather than take the entrance from the square, through this building here. And I know some people have been asked not to film in here when security saw them with a the camera, but I don't really care. I'm gonna head down to the subway station. is down here. It's a neat attraction. It's a miniaturized version of Canada waiting for you. So I think I'll have to buy tickets and head in there and do some filming at some point. I know Ken's done a video through there. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this rather unplanned walk, starting from just north of Young and Wellesley, winding my way through downtown to the little Tokyo area and to here at Dundas Station, where I will jump on the train. If you wish to support the channel, there are links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. I also have an Instagram account and some merch I'll be launching soon. Next station is College, College Station. All right. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.